Richard Bullwood has come in with a comment. Richard says, remind me again who voted for Kamala Harris. That's right. No one. This is another um, thing that they're going down. So here's what's funny, Lana, <laughs> is that for months, months before Joe Biden decided to drop out, they were trying to impeach Joe Biden, right? They were the Republicans were trying to impeach him, and everybody wanted him. If you're a MAGAT, you know you would be like, "Oh, we got to get you know he's a criminal. Get him out of there. Impeach him. All that stuff." Well, now he quits the race, so now he's not in it anymore. There are rules. There are processes that go on after in the incredibly rare time somebody would drop out of the race there are now Lana correct me if I'm wrong when he initially dropped out of the race it was open up to everybody everybody had the opportunity to say I'm putting my hat in the ring in fact there was little talk that Joe Manchin was going to throw his hat in the ring and then he decided against it all these other people said I am back backing Kamala Harris. And by the way, this will be the last time I'm explaining this because it's so fucking stupid. This is I another still don't even understand what the comment means. No one voted they're for saying her. Because we didn't vote for Kamala Harris in the primaries that Democrats are undemocratically allowing Kamala Harris to be the nominee. So here's the thing. I've got one question for you, Excuse if you can answer this. Find me the group of Democrats that are complaining that they didn't get a fair shake and they weren't able to vote for their candidate seems to me like almost everybody is in line with Kamala Harris being the nominee. Nobody's complaining about it other than you pussies. But that couldn't have happened that way anyway, imbecile. Like that's just stupid. Biden was uncontested. No one ran against him. So the assumption was it was Biden. Primaries were over. It was nothing right. else. Biden primaries were over. However, he had not gotten the nomination because that process did not happen yet. Correct. So before that happened, he, he was the guy he stepped down. There was not going to be any vote. So what the fuck are you talking about? He endorsed his vice president. But <laughs> yeah. you know, we're not answering like, Richard what? Bullwood. We're okay. answering, we're what? answering the right wing propaganda idiots who what? came up with this. So Richard can regurgitate it. This is what? not an original what? idea what? or question from this book. guy. Like that's just really, that's all you got. Nobody voted. You're fucking, even if you're Republican, you're probably not even Republican. You're just MAGA. What the fuck do you care? Like, what do you, who, why, why? Well, they, she's complain. such a horrible candidate anyway. Why do they care? What are you so scared about? What, exactly. like, that's the thing that drives me nuts. Like, <laughs> you, you're, you're trying to make something out of nothing. If, if Kamala Harris, let me ask you, Richard, do you think Kamala Harris is a very strong candidate and that she is going to beat Donald Trump? Because if you don't feel that way, what the fuck do you care? Who's, who's the nominee? Exactly. And, and even exactly. if you did care, explain to me what was done wrong. <laughs> we are all happy with our, uh, in fact, I don't know. You join late. I showed a poll. The, a uh, percentage of people that went up, what was it, 25% went up from, were they happy with their candidate back in uh, June or July, whatever, or April, as opposed to August, it went up 25% after she was the nominee. So everybody's pretty fucking happy with uh, Kamala Harris. You could look at her rallies. They're not AI generated. If you actually believe that, then you really probably need help or you're probably a 13 year old, um, you know, that, but anyway, none of this matters. It, it, it just, it doesn't matter. Um, you know, if you want to see ridiculousness, let's get back to your boy, Donald Trump. And I'm, yes. he's probably going to tell me I'm not even a Donald Trump fan. I'm yeah, not mad. I get a lot of those people. Yeah. Because yeah. Yeah. Yeah, sure. they're embarrassed. <laughs> well, right. Yeah. They're embarrassed, but they're 100% rooting and voting and yeah. hoping he wins. Actually, a lot of these people say I'm not even a Trump guy. They won't go out and vote, but they are dying. To mm -hmm. see the Democrats lose. Yeah, and you know what? Exactly I got to be afraid. If you yeah. don't vote, you could go fuck yourself. I don't want to hear one fucking word from anybody who doesn't vote. 
Mm-hmm. Um, MAGA going to get enraged uh, or uh, enraged for damn. Yeah, exactly. It may, it may, fine. You could be mad all you want. Who gives a flying 